Yeah, it snowed. Some of the nicest harvest weather we've ever had suddenly changed pretty much overnight to this situation. It's not really early to have snow, but it is early to have this amount of snow. And it's cold enough where, you know, we kind of assumed we'd get a couple inches and it would melt away and be fine, but we got way more snow than we thought we were gonna get. And on top of that, they're forecasting another three to five inches tomorrow. Look at that boy go. Ugh, frozen. And I don't want to do it, but I'm kind of thinking maybe I need to put on the snow blower and the snow pusher. Kind of bright out here. Everything is covered in snow. Man, that baby's got some weight to her. The three-point is stuck. It does nothing, no matter what I do. Of course it doesn't. This is farming. Anytime you unhook something, something won't work next time. As silly as it is, I even called the John Deere tech at my dealer, and he can't figure it out. I think about the only option I have right now is to stick the skid steer on it, stick it in float, and see if I can push it down. Maybe it's just stuck up for some reason or another. I don't understand. I've never had one like this. She seemed a little crispy. Let's see if that freed anything up, I guess. I hadn't used the three points since I took the snow plow off it. Now she's functioning. I'm afraid to go all the way up for fear of not going down. Well, maybe it's not an all bad thing that I had that hang up because I'm a little worried it's almost too warm and sunny now. And now dad's here and some other people and we got a one hour not a meeting in the shop, but we're looking at purchasing something and some people are gonna try and sell one to us. So that'll probably take an hour. Well, we didn't buy anything yet. I'm down a glove. Who'd have thought you keep them in your own pockets and once in a while you lose one? Very sad. So as luck would have it, now I'm running into this issue. This tractor didn't come with a quick hitch. So I bought this, put it on this tractor, pretty universal deal, except the hook is too fat to fit on the blower. Looks like it bolts on and off pretty easy, but I can't have the blower on when I do it. And it doesn't help me out now because it won't sit down in there. So I can't lock the lowers in. And the PTO's being a real pain, that's pretty stiff, so I'm gonna go grab a bungee cord and hang that up out of the way so I can at least move it to the shop and work on it where it's warm. Brand new stuff, universal stuff should be, that doesn't work together. By the looks of the yard here, I think if I try to move any snow anyway, I'm just gonna take all the gravel off my driveway. Kinda what I'm afraid of. That'll at least get us to the shop. Now it'll at least be warm when I do come to hooking the thing up. And once it works, it's gonna be a sweet snow removal system, SRS. Compared to what I was using before, not that what we were using was bad, but this is gonna be quite an upgrade. Now I gotta move a few things here and make room for something something 
kind of neato. I got room made, but now I'm gonna go eat lunch quick. Keep you guys in suspense just a little bit longer. Yeah, this stuff's pretty sloppy. And the gravel's not frozen at all, so I'd have done more harm than good trying to move this, even though it's a, what a mess. Are you doing homework? Yeah. Can I see your new purple cast? It got oh, recovered, so she now has a purple cast. And pink. And pink. Yeah. Got, what'd we spill? Play-Doh. What was it? Play-Doh? <laughs> Rhiannon, are you getting your homework done? Uh-huh. Good. I'm writing I'm my doing my homework now. Good. And Onyx <laughs> is playing with Play-Doh. <laughs> well, girls, is this place clean enough for you know, what we have coming? Yep. I'll just open the old door here and let whoever's coming with whatever it is roll on in. Is that Tillage Man Sam? The Tillage Man himself? Pulling in with a, an 8RX and a strip till machine? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. S Sam, d you could have at least washed it. Uh, it was clean <laughs> when I left an hour ago. <laughs> you got it dirty. Ah. I'll get dust on it later. Yeah. Tillage man Sam is back. I'm standing in front of him because he's taller than me and I'm not used to that and it's weird. We got a John Deere 2510S strip till machine and we're gonna pull it with the 8410, well, not an 8410RX, but an, an 8RX yep. 410. Sure, that's right. That's the correct that's way. That's the correct nomenclature. It is actually the exact tractor that we had here this spring, so. When the weather gets a little bit nicer, we're gonna take this machine out into the field. The idea here for me is to reduce a little bit of tillage, but still do tillage where we're gonna plant so that it dries out in the spring and also get our nutrients down with it. So that's, that's the idea behind this thing. I'm excited to test it. It's the same width as our chisel plow. Um, the deep bander that we've got is 30 feet wide, and Sam's gonna come out and, and help us set this thing up. This is a high residue, or what we call residue master. So. Uh, we have the dedicated coulters up front that are on 15 inch spacing. So you got one per each row unit and then one in between chopping up the residue. And then you get some space in between, which is good. Uh, when you get at higher speeds and a lot of residue, especially like corn on corn type situations, it's good to have some room to, to flow that residue. Um, then you got your row cleaners. It is a shank style, like a knife uh, style strip till unit. So there are some, they're differing styles of strip till rigs. Uh, this one will actually, because there is snow outside, this one will work really well in tough, hard, frozen ground, being that we're not trying to push discs into the ground, we're holding a shank in the ground. And this is like a pretty similar shank to what's on your chisel plow right now, so a 1300 pound trip shank. So it's a heavy duty rig. Uh, and then we, we're putting dry fertilizer on, so that's the fertilizer that we're doing, uh, which is the same as what you're doing with your 2410 and then this closing disc behind that create a little bit of a berm. So that berm, which you want to be about two inches tall, will settle out over the winter, mellow out, and then you can plant right into it in the spring uh, if you choose to do so. And I could run this on soybean stubble or corn residue, correct? Right. So this, this unit's designed to work in the high residue conditions, specifically corn especially, but it works just as well in bean stubble. Do you need a ride back? Um, I can get an Uber if you can get those out here. You can't get an Uber. Sam's gonna need a ride back because we don't have Uber, so he can borrow my other snowmobile. Yep. But thank you for the, uh, for the demo. This is innovative and I'm kind of pumped to try this. Yeah, and I think, I don't know, strip till is something that'll be new for you. And really, I think, I mean, we did some conventional demos last year. Conventional tillage demos, that's very 2019. I think we're moving on, moving up. We're moving on. Yeah, silly, old, wrinkly, <laughs> conventional tillage demos. For those who don't remember Sam, he's my buddy. He's been on several videos before. He is Tillage Man Sam on Instagram. Make sure you follow him. He's gonna be out here as soon as this weather shapes up and we're gonna run this thing because if you've been watching the videos, you've been following along, you know we've only got 100 acres to go as far as harvesting corn goes, but when it comes to tillage, we're a long ways behind. And now we got some unique pieces here to run through the machines, test them out, see what I think, see if we think strip till is something that's gonna work for us. I mean, it's something that I'd like to look at anyway. I've been curious about it. So that's what we got. It's gonna be fun. Heard a rumor, we got a neighbor putting fertilizer down 
mile south of here. And I know his methods, and I'm guessing he's tilling it in. So I'm going to go check that out because a farmer's best way of judging the business decisions he should make is by watching his neighbors. My gosh. He's doing it. He's really doing it, Harry. I'm going to wait till he gets back to the other end of the field and I'm going to see what he's pulling. Lauren, how's it working out there? It looks pretty nice. Lauren's got both of his rigs going and it looks pretty decent. He's getting some slip for sure, but he's slipping on the snow more than he is the ground. I don't know, what do you think? I'll, I'll bet you're right, it'll go a lot better in the morning if the top freezes over again. I did not give permission for that. Who said you could touch my sled? Uh, I did. You just decided you were taking my sled out? Yep, let her warm up for five minutes. All right, let me try it. God. <laughs> Yep, it works. Kids, we have decided that this stuff is just too sloppy and far too moist to go run any tillage tonight. So it's gonna freeze overnight. We know that it's gonna get colder and hopefully we can take this thing out in the morning and it'll do a lot better job. So I guess for tonight, I'll just winterize the camper and take out the garbage. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget we are still raising funds for uh, grain bin safety equipment and training for fire departments and first responder crews that need it. Those links are down below. If you are part of or you know of a department that could use some of the funding for the training or the safety supplies, let us know. There's also a link down there for an email. Uh, we are now getting close to $50,000 with everything that everybody has contributed and it's continuing to grow. So. Once we get through harvest here and we finally get this stuff wrapped up, we are gonna get to dispersing those funds. So thank you to everybody who has participated in that. Sincerely appreciate that. It's awesome to uh, have all the support. We got some other stuff in the works with that, that that I shouldn't mention yet because it's not finalized. So thanks for watching. This is not our cat. Why is your face so dirty and who are you? What are you doing here? Well, once again, this isn't entirely... Anna, you almost killed me there. You almost ran me over. We've gotten probably another three to four inches overnight. Everything is covered. But at least it's, at least it's windy. Look at that. I know we've got a neighbor that's out trying tillage right now. And I'm gonna be sick sitting in the house or the shop if I don't at least try it. And the field we're trying to do is right here. I'm gonna try it. Just to reinforce the idea that I'm not all that smart. Get her. Whew, I hope this thing has heat. I can't see anything. That's a lot of slip right there. Slip is generally not a good thing. In fact, it's never a good thing, but when you're slipping on the snow and you're not actually tearing up the soil, it's not nearly as bad. Now I've raised the ripper a bunch, and now that I've got moving, we're moving anyway. But it doesn't really appear to be doing a great job. That is over 20% slip. Now it goes down, it kind of fluctuates back and forth, but that's with the, the disc blades up and the ripper not very, oh, we're plugged. I'm gonna go home. The quad track isn't gonna go. Yeah, I'm out here now, just kind of cleaning up the half round I tried, but I plugged twice in that half round and I see Cullen. I don't know how Cullen got a two track deer, but I've been talking to him this morning and he's going by on the road right now. He said it, it's pulling it fine, but it won't hold, hold auto steer, so I'd assume it's getting snow inside the tracks. So I'd be I'd be crazy to uh, to go grab the RT and try the Mendeco, wouldn't I? I do too. No, I kind of, I, 
I think the same. I just, I don't want to give up, but I figured I'd call you and at least have reinforcements that that would be stupid. You think when November comes, it's going to warm up and we'll get back out here? With this much snow, no, the, I don't think, the ground probably won't freeze, even with single digits at night. Because it's, yeah, it, it probably won't. He's not going to like when I take my sled back and make him get on his 440. <laughs>